Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Pound of the Mighty Mix Spammer and if you are poor and you're watching this from Warsaw or from any place nearby Warsaw and you're watching this on the day that this video is uploaded, which should be September the 8th, stop watching right now and go to Łazienki Królewskie. So, generally, so you stopped watching, you went there, you did it, well go now. If you can make it before 6 p.m., you are gonna love it, trust me on this one. So yeah, you just, I just told you what I'm going to do tomorrow from 1 p.m. till 8 p.m. So there is this park in Warsaw that is called Wojenki Królewski. In direct translation, it will translate into Royal Bass, with a reason. This is actually the biggest park in Warsaw, at least I believe it's the bigger. Even if not, it's the most recognized, uh, recognized one and definitely... Well, it's my favorite, I believe. It's been a while since I went there, actually, so I'm kind of excited to go there in and of itself. But most, imp more importantly, is why I go there. And this is kind of amazing, because let's just be honest, I just received an email from Korea Korean Culture Center, because I go there frequently and apparently it frequently enough to get an invitation to Korean Festival 2012 in Poland, which is... <laughs> oh man, which I cannot express how happy I am. I literally cannot. So this is my plan for tomorrow and I'm so extraordinary, very, very excited. Man, I want this one and I'm gonna need it. Thing is... Shouldn't I instead get more movement on the entire empire? This seems like a really important and good upgrade to have, so I'm gonna go for move, more movement because you cannot really lose anything by going into more movement speed at early stages of the game. Next, however, I will go to botanical scanning ASAP because I also want to have as much food production as possible, as early as possible. But man, it's gonna be awesome. I'm not really sure what is going to happen. This, well, I do have a vague idea on what's going to happen at the Korean Festival because I got a bulletin with that a message, invitation, whatever, so I know more or less what's gonna have to happen. <sighs> I think I'll spend the rest of the night re relearning all the Korean land and re learning some more of it just to make sure I can communicate with Korean people more or less decently, let's say. Okay, new system discard, Alexion. Wait a minute, isn't that. <laughs> you copycat game! <laughs> oh well. So apparently there's pilgrims nearby as well, which I hate. I mean, the fact that they are nearby, because pilgrims, they're knobs. I believe that's pretty self-explanatory. And, okay, Fessia has finished constructing. What was it constructing? Oh, yes, the heavy azot refineries. As you can see, I have just recently rescheduled the production, so now I will start producing Justica way faster and on more important note, because I do need to start expanding ACP, and I do have quite a lot of population on my home system, so soon I will be starved. I mean... No stout, but I will lose, uh, use all of my population caps, so this would be kind of useless to have all this food on the system. So this is why I need this Procreator. Actually, this and just like this, I'm almost ready. But still, Procreator is soon after that. Then I'll make some more Justicas. So Though now looking at this, the, and, the, and the fact that soon I'll be maxed out of population, even after this Procreator, I'll be probably, probably pretty close to that. So I will risk... I'll do my best in making yet another creator, which is gonna be very important, and two more Justicas. I should really make more of those, but I, I will see how it goes. Maybe I will not need them all that much in this state of the game, though I believe I am going to be wrong on this fact. Fortunately, I checked on this planet. Man, look at fast I am making a population over here. Soon I'll be able to expand to another arid in the system, which is going to be amazing. Even more titanium for my needs, it's going to be also cool. But first of all, I will have yet another procreator, because I do kind of want and or need to expand as much as possible, as fast as possible. That's pretty much the part of the game. You do need to have a lot of... Uh, outpost colonies, whatever you want to call them, to make sure that the pirates don't spawn nearby and to make sure that... Well, it, it's simply said, it's easier to expand within a single system than expand from system to system and also by expanding somewhere you obviously disallow your enemies to expand to the same system, so it's also kind of important. Now, I believe we can end the turn right here and... <laughs> Man, you don't get how excited I am. The sole reason why I'm making this video right now because I was supposed to take 
a day of today in making videos is just because I was excited and long. I already told as many people as I could uh, about this thing. Unfortunately, none of those is in Warsaw, so nobody will be able to come with me, but still, really, really excited. And there is the United Empire, or Shredden, whatever you want to call them. Still, yeah, if you do come by and visit this place, by this place I mean Wajinki, Royal Bounce, whatever you want to call it, then you're not going to regret it. I know uh, there is no literal way to regret this. There's no way. It's <sighs> exactly what I needed. I needed some more Korean interaction and I'm going to get it. I am so very happy because of that. Now, safe is a good system, but it only has two planets. If it had more, it would definitely be a go-to system. But right now i believe that more it is more important to uh, to expand to this system because of maybe not the plants that are here because they either small or very difficult to colonize however as you can see almost every planet has a luxury resource and i already have access to dust water so sooner rather than later this system would become a really potent and powerful one so you should by all means i should by all means capture it maybe i won't even have Abundance of Jadonix, which would be amazing, and as you can see, my ships would attack way better. So I do need and want to expand there as fast and soon as possible. Now this Jessica is gonna stay right here in Fresia, making sure no pesky runabouts are going to try and make it into my remaining plants. So nobody, especially soils, are not going to expand there. This is the reason why I made the first Jessica. The rest I'm going to make will simply be my fleet. Which currently is not the biggest, but it will soon hopefully change. Am I done here? Can I end the turn? Man, uh, what should I do with this plant? Okay, so I have two Procarius queued up over here. One is going to Cold Trap, one is probably going to the Swine Dwarf. At least I believe I'm going to send it there, we'll see how it goes. I might queue that third one, but regardless, I still am going to need more if I want to expand to Cures, Faidas or Siganos. Siganos is not all that great and it has... yeah, not to Siganos. Then again, expanding there would disallow the pirates to spawn, so it would kind of benefit me in some way, but it's definitely not on the top of my priority list, so that's, that's it. That said, I will probably expand to it sooner rather than later. And what can I do about the taxes? Currently, I'm losing money. I don't want this to happen. I need to gain money. Now, I, my empire approval is only at content, but still, because of my faction trade, I do get quite a bit of science regardless. If I were favor, then I would simply get another 10% of science. I can afford not getting that one. Now, Fersia is maxed out on population, as we predicted it was going to happen, but I will soon make some more procreators, so this food will not be wasted. That said, because I don't need this food for quite a long time now, I believe I can safely go for more industri for industrial zones, because I need the production. Now, Terran, what it does it give me most? It gives me most dust, actually even more than food, I'm kinda surprised in that. However, I do need some production on my home system and this is precisely what I'm going to go for. And I will speed this up as soon as possible, which means when I uh, am able to gather 37 dust, which will hopefully f happen at one point in the future. Man. Do you think any keep of stars are going to be uh, tomorrow? <laughs> Unfortunately, I doubt it. But still, supposedly a couple of Korean immigrants are going to be there. At least they're... What are, you, what are you supposed to call it? Their psycho, <laughs> their inner sanctum, whatever, uh, supporting the project. So one can only assume they are actually going to be there and look at that. Caves are here too. This is the central area of the map. Every single race has access to it, or should at least have access to it, for now at least. And why did the music suddenly change? I have no idea. But still, it is a place where this kind of on this map you are going to meet pretty much every single species very fast unlike on the last map when as you've seen we haven't ever even met crevice okay we have but uh, on the very late state of the game when we pretty much won it by anyway anyway and we didn't even meet the pilgrims or somebody else so yeah that just says it tells you something on this map that's not the case you're going to meet with every single other player very very fast and you're gonna race for those middle plans because systems because they are usually very important to hold this is also the case seeing how those two are pretty nice what about you plecleos okay you're with your sis so you can belong to somebody else and alcyon 
It could be potential. It has a potential to be nice, but I'm gonna leave it. Also, it's going to make my border conflicts less painful, so that's another reason to leave it as it is. Now, what is in here? It's Loros, and wow, this super giant was a super giant for a second, and this planet looks cool. However, even though I would like to capture Loros, I will have some difficulties doing so because I would need to get the capture lava plant technologies, which is not going to happen anytime soon. And this means that probably sowers are going to end up taking this specific system. So what I do need to do is take it safe, race for technology that will allow me to expand to Cotrip ASP, which by the way I didn't queue up, which is kind of pathetic by me. So no thank you. I will go for desert colonization first and then for anything else. Good thing I remember to do that because this would be awkward. And I'll sooner, hopefully, rather than later, be able to colonize this desert. And then I'll simply not have to worry about the system being captured by somebody else. I'll simply have to protect it, which might be difficult at this stage of the game, but we'll see how I do. Now you check if this is just a standalone system or if this already is, or if this is already somebody else's territory. It's kind of important for me to know because yeah, if this is just standing alone system then I'm going to try and grab it and nobody will even really mind me doing so. If that's not the case I'll just leave it as it is. Lores probably too because then I would disallow some race to go through the lores and they would most likely hate me for it. Now some research has been done that I didn't look up because I misclicked and some stuff on Endarius has also finished but well we are doing good. Man, my food production is really sick. See, this is why you really have to go for the luxury resources early on. Just because this Hydro Meal gives me plus 4% food production on Emperor, I can m increase my production just so incredibly fast. I mean, it's really important in those early stages of the game to have as much food surplus as possible. And as you can see, this I already colonized this plant like what? Two turns ago? A turn ago? And I already have two production marks soon. Next turn, I'm gonna have three. And it is big because. Every single pollution mark is really a big improvement in pretty much everything. I mean, just look at this. That's Terran, so I get plus three per every single pollution mark, so this is big. Iron graphing, so even better in terms of food production. And friendly locals, which boosts this even more significantly. What can you not like about it? So, as I said, luxury resources and hopefully systems, planets with... What are they called? Anomalies that boost your food production. Production health. I would even say that Swamp Pod is actually a positive anomaly to have. I mean, yes, it does produce quite a lot of unhappiness and it does decrease your, uh, your, how do you call it, your industry production, that's right. But in the area such as the game, at least, food surplus is more important than industry abundance. And even though it kind of kicks you in the teeth, it's still a pleasant, pleasant. Pleasant kick, if you can call a kick to the teeth a pleasant one. And I still make some uh, industry because of the nature of my homeworld anyway. And on top of that, because I have this outlet, I make even more industry. So I am able to hold my own. Hero is also making things much more neater indeed. Neater? More neat? Neatly? Whatever. I don't even care. So I can end the turn. Drink a sip of juice. It's the same box from yesterday. So I'm gonna drink it. Mmm, it's just as delicious as yesterday. <sighs> Sorry, I got distracted. I was thinking about the test of digits, which is amazing. But anyway, Rotanev. First of all, this is a completely useless system. It is even worse than my Psychonauts because look at that. It's tiny and it has acid rain on top of that. Can we look at this acid rain? It's this, this black thing. I don't want to live there. I wouldn't want to. And by the way, funny story. Sangonis almost sounds like the Polish word for gypsy. So it's kind of weird. And oh, I didn't rename this system. Now, how am I going to call it? It's pretty much a border system for me. I don't think I'll capture loss anytime soon. So let me see what systems I have that are going to be important. Now, QoS is going to be my big baby in the future, so I'm setting the cool name for that. Now, I do have another name that I could you go for, but I will probably give it Coachup because of the nature of the name in question. So, the name I have for the planet prepare, that I have prepared for the system is actually 
pretty much non-essential in terms of lore, but it's a name, nevertheless. As far as I'm aware, no missions take place on this planet in Mass Effect, but still, it's a name that I have written down. Unfortunately, I was too lazy to write any more than five of them, so that's why I had to go with this one. <coughs> Excuse me. And two pre creators are done. This makes me a very happy person indeed. The first one I'm going to send right away to Kochab. It is going to station there and wait for the technology that will allow myself to settle down in there, which is going to be essential for the future. Now, another procreator is also ready. Instead of sending it to Fidas, which is closer and would allow me to make um, colony faster, I'll send it to Kios because it is way more important. So, yeah, that's it. And I believe I will run out of names for the planet, unfortunately. No, I don't have one more. That is not essential, but yet again, you know, a mission will take place there, it's just a system, or a, rather a planet that breaks the star, but then again, looking at those planets, it will fit it just perfectly. So, you, dear sir, are going to investigate some more. I'm really interested. I believe that this is still a system that is considered as part of the middle of the galaxy, and those two might actually link together. At least, I believe this is the case. So, let's see. This might be a standalone system, but if it is linked to anything, then I'll believe this is somebody else's territory and I will avoid this place in the future. Right now I can't tell because I didn't reach it unfortunately. Is that all for this very turn? I believe it is. I believe I can fly. Why am I, do I keep thinking about this? I have no idea whatsoever. So I'm going to end the turn right here. There was one more thing to, I wanted to talk about. Oh yes, if you are interested in getting to planet side 2 beta, there is actually a way to buy your way into there. Just recently I got an email from Don't You Dare Settle. If they settle, I'm going to load the game. They didn't. Good. Whew. Okay, now I can actually care about anything that happens and I'm scratching my eye. Give me a second. Oh. Ah, I hate this feeling. Now I feel like I should scratch it more, but I know if I do, then it's going to itch even worse, but oh well. If it was easy, it wouldn't be interesting. Yes, I know I colonized a desert. Big deal. In Doom, that was all they cared about, and that's the, pretty much the first thing they did, so that's not a big thing. You're not alone, I pretty much saw this coming, so, considering that I already was able to take a glance, glance at every single species that the universe has to offer, I encountered the Star Wars Empire, that's okay. Sustainability has been researched, which is all, deals of nice, and Sion is ready for another research project. Where is Sion? Oh, before I forget, I need to rename this system, and I'm pretty sure that you are going to be familiar with this name. Yeah, that's the planet from Mass Effect 2, which makes it even more awesome, because in my opinion, Mass Effect 2 is always, in every single way, better than 3. Even if we were not to consider some of the things that 3 was bad at, still, Mass Effect 2, I mean, it just had this awesome feeling to it. I liked it way more. And the normal, they looked cooler, in my op honest opinion. But anyway, I can make up my mind, I actually... I have no idea what I wanted to do and or why, but I do know I need iron graphing because soon I'll change it, but from the time being, uh, it is going to take a lot of time till I get any more population on the system and I need population in here as well because even though I am unable to expand to, to those other plants in the system and this probably we were going to stay this way for quite long, I do need as much population on this desert planet as possible. Why, you may ask? Well, it's simple. For every population mark, your defense on a system is increased, and I have no doubt that soon somebody is going to arrive who will try and kick me out of Ilium. I do not want this to happen, so I need my food production ASAP. This is also the reason why I'm going to go for sustainable farms. And <coughs> Sorry. And only later for heavy isotope refineries, which is still going to take a considerable amount of time. Now, Sion is done with whatever it was doing, and this was Procreator indeed. What do I want next from the system? That's a very good question. You know what? I might as well go for Saganus. Then again, hmm. I can expand to Oshi. Oh man, yes. Without a doubt, yes. I do want to have my settlement at. No, 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 no. No, no, no. <laughs> First battle of the series, it's not gonna go well. So, remember what I talked about pirate spawning? Oh, apparently, they already started doing so, so I'm in a big trouble. I'm obviously going to try and retreat, 
but I have no doubt that I'm going to lose this ship. It has no defense whatsoever, and those pirates probably have like a bajillion of kinetics. I have no idea how many kinetics those actually are, but I believe there's a lot. So I'm going to lose this procreator, unfortunately, unless I'm really lucky and they have really bad aim. So we're gonna see how it works. So far they have a really bad aim, and they don't do not have this many kinetics to begin with. I believe there's only two volleys, but still, a single hit it like, takes like uh, one fifth of my HP. Still, I managed to escape, so I'm happy with how this went. Unfortunately, I do need to dispatch a fleet ASAP to clear the system because this is the most important system I wanted to go for. So yeah, in return I can at least go up to fight us, which is something I guess. Yeah. Well, I'm going to cap colonize it anyway, because still I believe it's going to be more productive than Saigonos. And let's see, can I skip this planet by going there? Yes, indeed I can. So hopefully the pirates are not blocking me. If they are, I'm going to, yet again, waste another ship. But hopefully this will not be the case. Now somebody is going, was going to move somewhere. Okay, Oyad is still near the center of the galaxy, as it seems this is, must be the way to the other arm of the galaxy where some other race is settled at, but Oyad is still a natural neutral zone. Do I want to be there? It has have dusted water and mutated flora. I could expand it right away and gain significant bonuses out of it. Which makes me kind of which makes me tempted to do so. However, it is quite away from the rest of my empire. I would also have to capture Rotanef and Lowe's to make sure that I control this entire space and have no problem traveling between the worlds. And needless to say, not only it will take a considerable effort that I will, and not only I would be unable to produce more offensive uh, ships because I would have to focus on procreators, also it would be really difficult to defend all of those systems. So, you know what? I'm not going to do so. What I am, however, going to do is send this investigator to this protostar, see what it is uncovers, maybe something cool. There's the United Empire again. And, right, fighters. First of all, I'm gonna rename it while I remember to do so. To... Give me a second. What was I supposed to rename you to? There are two possibilities, and I will believe... I'll go for servos, because, hey, why not? It's servos, right? I have no idea what happened on servos. Definitely there was no mission on it, I believe. But, oh, whatever. It's still an Ansari colonist planet, so it fits the law perfectly. Now, what kind of explanation do I want to have here? Because, obviously, this system is not going to have a lot of... Uh, I will not be able to expand within for a very long time. And it doesn't need defense, it doesn't need anything. More population would indeed give me more dust but instead i could simply go for dust production so let's see how long till i get more production than that not too long even with the, my base food production i'm still doing relatively decent so i'm not going to go for sustainable farms i'm not also going to go for iron grafting either instead what i will go is let me think industrial zones colonial exchange or exo science science station now, Tundra apparently loves science, but it encourages you to exploit in in such a way to get as much industry as possible. However, what is that? You see it? Is it? Wow, is that a ship or is that a tiny fly on my screen? No, it's a ship! Wow! That's awesome. I've never seen a ship on a planet before, which is kind of awesome. Amazing and killed as well. So anyway, I believe I will go for dust because honestly right now I could use some more dust especially because I'm a spamthrift and There is no need to have anything else on the system anyway So this is also the very reason why I will go for Zintorius and but only, uh, but only after I get heavy isotope refineries because those are kind of important especially on a system like that Sion on the other hand man, I will need another procreator will yes, I definitely will so wait a minute, this procreator was supposed to go to safe, and that's where I'm going to send it to. So create procreator, it sounds funny. I'm, it's called procreator, it really does sound funny. And so it, for now, I'm good on this front, but I will need more procreators on within those systems. So I need two more, I, actually one more, because I don't, as I said, I don't need to expand to Saigonus anytime soon. So I just go for one more procreator to be ready to expand into Quios. And for now, 
this will probably be enough. I'll get some more science and some more dust as well. Probably more, more preferably more dust first than science. Now, do you, how great this system is? Not that great. So I, if I do capture it this turn, I have our name ready for it. And what is it? Is it cool? It is going to be a pain for me to pronounce, but it will do. How about this system though? Oh man, I don't have a name for this one, do I? No, indeed, I do not. Don't tell me I have to add tablet just to find the name for the system. By the way, did I set my timer? I know I started recording, but because I did memorize that. Okay, I did set up my timer. Good. So, because I'm probably soon. No, actually, I will not be soon done with those upgrades, so this is a surprise for me, I guess. But what will I want next? I should make up my mind sooner rather than later because it might be important. So, Dream Desert Plants. Probably not an important issue for me just yet. What else do we have? A bunch of stuff I don't really care about at this point of the game from the science tree. How about the expansionist tree? This I could use in the form acceptors, especially considering the planets, the hostile level, the hostility of planets that I could expand to. But what would be even better is to have destroyers already. So, no, 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 no. First of all, you two finish. Then. Mm, decisions, decisions. Okay, I will wait with the destroyers for a little bit more. First of all, I will get improved thermal and dynamics just to get more population tiny and small because apparently I have a lot of tinies. Then I'll go for destroyers because I need them. And only afterwards I'll probably improve them in some other way, but we'll see. We'll decide when we come to it. What are you? You are Procreator. Okay, am I done here? Can I finish the turn? I believe I can. You still. I okay, have no movement, okay, that's good, that's all fine and dandy, you are guarding the system indeed, that's nice. And I believe we are able to go. You know what, actually I might just increase the dust production just so I can speed up something on first here. Oh, do you want dust results? Actually, no reason to speed it up. <laughs> like, seriously. So I just make more drastic cars. And what do I want after that? Oh, probably even more drastic cars. Because honestly, I kind of need them. Only after that, I'll probably get some more dust or science. Probably dust because I will need the money to be able to afford all those dust So I will already queue up the money. Now, I think we can end the turn right here. And you know what? This seems like a perfect place to pause the video for a really split second and let me check. Actually, never mind. I will not. <laughs> I'm not going to check anything. I'm too cool for that. So, oh, I just realized about, I abandoned the topic of plant set two. So I'll come back to it in a second. First of all, however, I do want more production. This is a really great early game upgrade because this just gives you straight up plus 15 to industry. It's amazing early game. Later on, it's pretty pathetic, but it's still good nevertheless. So that's why this kind of hero is amazing. And look at the production I have. I know from my previous playthrough standpoint, it would be pretty pathetic, but... In this one, yeah, 54 kind of stands out, doesn't it? So, okay, yes, industry, some science has, is being done, that's nice, I don't really care. Now, will this guy be able to go through quiles? Let's hope he will be. No, they will indeed not be, so we will have to try and escape, if at all possible. This might be an issue, I don't think... I mean, this, considering that the last ship managed to survive, no real problem, even if the enemy does manage to hit me this time, I think I'll be able to... I'll be just fine, because they only have two offense modules installed on their ship. Yet. Soon this will be much worse, but I should really take care of this problem as soon as possible, because otherwise I will be stuck here with a huge amount of procreators that are unable to do anything, and I do not want this to happen. Alternatively, I could outfit the procreators with weapons and defenses so they can count the way for themselves. Which is a feature I might think about doing. Then again, do I have the money to retrofit them? I don't believe I do, so never mind. So, where did I escape to? Apparently, I lost my ship right now. Oh, never mind, it's over here. <laughs> that was crazy. Of course. Whatever, for a second. So. I am unable to go to either of those two systems, which is not nice. I can't do pilgrims and he show 
So that's a thing. And pirates as well, apparently. And they are blockading the system, so we are all stuck here together. Well, this is funny. <laughs> oh boy. And this isn't even an important system. Look at that. It's a small Arctic in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Man, setting this planet system generation to random was really a funny idea because look at what we are having right now. A lot of systems with just a single planet, but it might be an interesting gameplay uh, gameplay mechanic that we are going to have to try and fight. So I'm all in for that. Expand it to this system. I'm gonna rename it in a moment. How am I gonna name it? I forgot already. I did forget already. I completely forgot. Ah! Servos as you I used. Ill my dead. First year, obviously. Yes, I can guess. Yes, Sion. Now. Lucia, or Lucia, as I would call it. <laughs> uh, yes, it's another non important planet from Endless. No, not Endless Bay. Mass Effect Lore, so. Actually, I'm probably going to rename it and give Lucia or something like that to Saiganos. This is just a... Uh, you know what? I'm gonna name it placeholder because in the next playthrough I intend to change it. Placeholder. Instead of... Because we are too cool to have an R. Uh, well, why not? So, obviously we do need some food, more food production and sustainable farms on the top of that because we are going to expand to the desert sooner rather than later. Yeah. And we are good on that front, I believe. I do have a single Justica already. No, I do not. This is a problem. And this problem is going to continue on. So let me just check. Although, yeah, I still have one more Procreate on, on its way, but it doesn't matter. I can retrofit them anyway. So let's see how many modules I can install on them and how good they can be. Two isotope plating and a single rocket. That's not that great. But at least they will be able to survive some kind of beating and they will be actually able to find a back. Considering that I have snipers, they are actually going to be able to deal some damage on top of that. Might be interesting. I'm not sure if this is going to work though. I'm more concerned about defense than offense because those are expansion ships. They have my population on them and I don't want to lose it. So that's why I made this kind of balance. Then again, if I go for another missile, can I get it? No, I cannot, unfortunately. Oh well, I'll deal with it. Apply, and now the big thing, how much will retrofit cost me? It will, where is it? Cost me... Yeah, I would like to... Hmm. What was... No! No, 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 I didn't want that to happen, but it did. Hold on a second, where was it? Okay, it was over here. So, wait a minute, I don't get it. Why can I not retrofit this thing? I was able to retrofit the Q, but I wasn't able to retrofit this guy. Is it because this ship has used its movement points in the stand? It might be. We will see. Anyway, I think I am done for this stand, and I will finally be able to go back on... Planet side 2 topic, because there is this news that you might be interested in. Okay, I think this is the case indeed, so end the turn. So, as you know, Planet side 2 is going to be a free to play game. You can buy your way into the beta, but that's not truly really the case of buying your way to beta, it's just access to beta is like. yeah. Well, at least I'll be able to escape from the system, so that's something. Access to beta is just a bonus for the bundle that you are able to buy at Sony Online Entertainment. The bundle includes Four dozen station cash, which on itself should cost about forty dollars, and this bundle costs thirty-five, thirty-nine, something along those lines. And to remember, and it also gives you a bunch of our stuff that you're gonna get in Planet Side Two, that is going to be exclusive to the supporters of this first bundle that is called Alpha Team, and you are going to be the, called the founder because of that. Founder, not the founder, but founder. It's a difference. <laughs> so. I actually did it because I support Planet Side 2. I believe it's going to be great. As I said, I don't really like first person shooters, but it's all a matter of the scale. And the coolest thing about Planet Side 2, 
I can play it more like a flight simulator than actual first person shooter. I just focus my character creation on being a real good pilot. So I spent all my certification points into SAF piloting, into SAF acquisition and so on and so forth. So all I do is get in the SAF and just go on as it is. So it's a really neat way to play it, I believe. At least I like it a lot. So it's a game that is either a great first person shooter or a really good, well, arcade flight simulation or tank simulation. It's obviously not as good as Lock-On, but well, Lock-On is designed to be an extra realistic flight simulator rather than just have some flight arcade elements added to it. Anyway, well, that was a uh, good timing, thank you very much, so, because I was actually about to think about ending this video cast sooner rather than later, because, yeah, I kind of want to buy... Uh, to, what do I... what do you I want to do? There was something I wanted to do, and I forgot what it was. Scratch my head? Well, I just did it. Was... I don't remember. There was something I was supposed to do after I finished this video cast, so I will have to take a look at that, because it might have been something important. Anyway, I guess it has finished some kind of construction, it was the one that gave it more food production, which is all sorts of nice. Look at that, it already has four next and I have five, so now I'll be able, uh, on fall three, to expand to this area with mutated flora, which will be awesome! But for now, however, I am all good with more dust and more science to top that. Now, anything else I should really worry about? Well, Fessy has another drastic already. I might see and try and see if I am actually able to wipe out this pirate ship, which would be all sorts of nice if I can only retrofit one of those procreators. Why can I not retrofit it? That's really research. It's maybe either a bug or some kind of game mechanic I'm not aware of. So, I could send those two fleet ships this time and they wouldn't make it, or... But this just the car is not going to make it either, is it? No, it's not. So, how do I cancel that now? Something like all along those lines. There's probably an easier way to cancel the move. But still, oh, I didn't check how long it would take for this guy to actually travel to Kios. And I probably should actually send him there because the pirates are going to keep spawning and I have a feeling a single military version of an expansion ship might not be able to make it, unfortunately, as much as I would like it to be otherwise, but to be different, but whatever, you know what I mean. Okay, so I believe we are done for the turn, which means that the next turn would already be showcased in the next video. This is just car is definitely staying here, guarding my assistance from any of those sewer stealing bastards. And let's have a look at people how and how they see us. Now, apparently, there is an issue with me and pilgrims. What is problem with us guys? That's just a score difference. Why? Because my score is so big or so low? Oh, they're just jelly. Okay. How about you, Fisho? Why do you not love me? Score difference, okay, are they lower than me? Yes, indeed they are, so they are jelly. And so are probably higher than me, so they don't care about the skull. Yes, indeed, that is the case. So apparently, if you are burdened to somebody, they are jealous. Well, that's pretty much true, so I'm glad that the game reflects that, because, yeah, it actually should. Am I actually done with this system? I'm... Seems like it. Why did I go for... Oh, yes, I wanted to go for a temple of finance. Okay. Good, I can end the turn. Insane my outro. It was Punches of the Mighty Mix Power. If you somehow manage to enjoy my video, then please, by all means, like it. I don't really mean like it. I mean, I know some of my subscribers forget to like it. It might not seem like much, but actually, yeah, as I wanted to say, like it and subscribe. But what is even more important for me is place like a comment. So even if you're too lazy or for whatever other reason you don't want to like my videos, then please write a comment because it's all I ask for you and this is what I want most from you. So thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. It was Pantrosu yet again, signing off. See you online.